And here's why, fellas, here's why you can't win an argument with your girl. Here's why. Uh, their operating system that they have running in their brain is too highly advanced for us. And here's why. They're constantly upgrading that operating system. That's why you can never figure them out, because it's changing. Like, I don't know what your default settings are, ladies. I don't know if you're like, update me from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. when I'm sleeping, and then you go to bed. Guys, we get updates, but we never like, hey, want to update? Eh, remind me tomorrow, bro. Like, you never like do it. So a lot of you guys are still trying to deal with your girl with an old ass up. Some of you are still running, if you're old enough, Windows 95 in your head. And that's why when your girl asks you stuff, your brain can't open the attachments. You can't have the file. It's like, this is not compatible. And that's why, ladies, you have to give your guy a moment when you go, hey, do you remember that one time we, because he's got to download that image. Like, he just stole it from LimeWire. Right? And here's the current operating system that your girl is working on right now, fellas. I figured it out. Your girl argues with you now the same way she watches movies and buys things online, okay? She sees the argument she wants to have in her head. Underneath that, she also sees, if you enjoy bitching about this, <laughs> then you're also gonna enjoy bitching about this, 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 and this. Others who fought about this have also fought about this, 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 and this. Based on past arguments, may we recommend? <laughs> but here's the deal, right? I try to be, as, as a husband, I, you know, on a daily basis, I try to be a better husband. Like, listen. Uh, and here's why. It's not because I'm an awesome guy. It's a selfish why. I can't have my wife leave me because my wife knows more facts and information about me than I know about myself <laughs> because I no longer put anything that I need to do about me to my own memory. I don't. It's all, it's, it's on her, right? So like, I'm done with info. And if somebody's giving me info and my wife is standing next to me, I'm assuming she's picking up all of that information. <laughs> I listen to nothing, <laughs> nothing. Like if we're at a restaurant and the server's like, would you like to hear the specials? Okay. <laughs> and then he leaves, I look at my wife, did he say anything that I would eat? <laughs> it's gotta be annoying. Every restaurant I go to with my wife, I have to look at her, do I like the Caesar salad here? No, it's too anchovy. Okay, just need the info, not the tone. Thank you. Just need the facts, not an opinion. So I basically, any information I need, right, uh, I ask my wife and I get that info, then I use that, and when I'm done, I just put that info right back on my wife's brain. I basically use my wife as the cloud. <laughs> Works pretty good, but I am getting pretty lazy. I was at the doctor with my wife and the doctor asked me, John, what's your full date of birth? And I was like. <laughs> Sometimes there's glitches in the system. I'm like, hey, where's the can opener? Where it always is. Then I have to redo my search. Where do we always keep the can opener? <laughs> But you gotta make sure, fellas, you gotta make sure your girl's happy. Because here, here's my theory. If you've been married for a while, right, there is a moment in, in everyone's marriage where there's maybe a few minutes where one or the other person thinks, if renting a U-Haul was a little bit easier. <laughs> and then you go, ah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, let me just, and then five years goes by, I wonder if that U-Haul place is still open. Like, right, it's just, it's just a reoccurring thing. That's why I want to get some U-Hauls and I'm just going to drive around random neighborhoods. <laughs> and then I'm going to play music like the ice cream guy <laughs> to let you know there's an empty truck nearby. <laughs> then I'm just going to go up to people's doors. <laughs> I got a truck. You want to go? 
You know I'm gonna catch some people going, yeah, load it up, let's go, let's go. <laughs> leave the blender, leave the blender. <laughs> Ladies, and to make your life a little bit easier, let me just tell you this. Tell your guy what you want. Like, I know in your brain, you're like, well, I shouldn't have to tell him. He should like, just kind of know. And, 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 and. Well, unless you met him at my reading camp, he doesn't know what you want, okay? And listen, we're all on this earth really short amount of time. You don't have that much time to hope your guy picks up your vibe. Just tell him exactly what you want. Like, I didn't realize my wife wanted this because she never mentioned it, but then uh, we're at dinner, and while we're at dinner, this other couple w was having a discussion. It wasn't even our talk. And you ever just hear another couple, and you like listen, and you're like, whoa, you got, you're doing this wrong. Tag me. Let me just talk for you. Right? So the guy pulls out his phone, and he looks at his phone like this, right? And he's kind of, he's looking at his phone kind of in an obnoxious amount of time. And I knew that was going to be some trouble because me and my wife, that's the one thing. When we go out with each other, we put our phones away. We try to be more present because the phones and you don't need the, because listen, okay, cell phones make you closer to people far away and further away from the person next to you. <laughs> I think I read that as a magnet or something. Anyway, so then the woman got mad. She was like, okay, just, you're gonna be on your phone the, the whole time? And he's like, what? I'm gonna take a And then she goes, look at your phone. I don't feel connected to you, okay? And then she goes, we don't kiss, okay? That argument then somehow jumped <laughs> over to our table. My wife goes, yeah, we don't kiss. And then I look over at that guy who looks at me. I'm like, hey, asshole, kiss your wife. Now, now I got to have this conversation with my wife because you're... And then my wife picks up where she left off. She's like, yeah, we're girls, please. We're just like little. I just want... 